Many of us view life only through the lens of immediate self-interest and crass materialism, in which the world is necessarily a zero-sum game. The Here's the thing, Green Bay, we're not any healthier for it. We don't necessarily have better outcomes. Even what accounts for the bulk of our costs is the nature of our health care delivery system itself a system where we spend vast amounts of money on things that aren't necessarily making our people any healthier, a system that automatically equates more expensive care with better care. Now, the government may not necessarily uh, hire the doctors or the hospitals. A lot of those may still be privately operated, but the government is the insurer for everybody. Uh, and we were handed a $1.3 trillion deficit when we walked in the door, one we necessarily had to add to in the short term to deal with this financial crisis. Now, and the steps we took to save the economy from depression last year have necessarily added to that deficit, about $1 trillion compared to the $8 trillion that we inherited. I'll even take you, uh, give you an example of something on which we don't necessarily agree, such as Syria, or we didn't agree. France. Uh, and there were actually some very constructive conversations around the table about ways that we could uh, start making significant progress, not necessarily even waiting for the Financial Commission on some steps. Uh, for there, there's not going to be necessarily a deal that says, as Martin, I think, a, 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 an entirely respectable position is to say, extend them all for two years and then they go away, right? I mean, and your appearance here today might ne not necessarily push them in the direction that the, That's right. the president no. wants. Insurance, uh, private insurance plans. Right now, you can do that, and this is it's not something necessarily we can legislate, but it's something that all of us have to take responsibility for thinking about. How uh, it is not going to be uh, our ships that are necessarily involved in enforcing the arms embargo. That's but uh, they're under the gun from the international capital markets. And as part as a member of the Eurozone, uh, they uh, necessarily are going to be looking to other members of the Eurozone to help them figure out uh, a path forward. Germany. We just don't think that we need necessarily new authority from Congress in order to get that done. So we become the best counterinsurgency force in the world. But we've done so at the expense of critical conventional capabilities we necessarily let lapse. We but it didn't necessarily produce a lot of jobs here in the United States. So, <laughs> so when these ideas come up for a vote this week, when the TV cameras aren't necessarily on each of them, I expect both sides of the aisle to stand up for our veterans and vote in the affirmative. There's and by the way, that would not necessarily be a bad thing for the Chinese economy, because they've been so focused on uh, export-driven growth that they've neglected uh, domestic consumption, building up domestic markets. He doesn't necessarily like to uh, get out in front of people. And in a culture that celebrates fame and fortune, uh, yours are not necessarily household names. And because it's a world market, the fact that we're doing more here in the United States doesn't necessarily help us because even U.S. oil companies, they're selling that oil on a worldwide market. They're in a nutshell, I think and I believe that the sweeping changes in this continent, in addition to waging a bet in or on the domestic markets and also on better income distribution policies, I think that the better performance of this country, continent will necessarily involve greater and fuller integration. And then the third is education, making sure that people with disabilities are getting the education they need and not necessarily just being put into sheltered workshops, but being in integrated environments. But what we also, one of the things that uh, I've also been pointing out, when you look at a lot of those jobs that go unfilled, they're not necessarily PhD jobs. I think at that time, I didn't necessarily imagine that Nelson Mandela might be released, but I had read his writings and his speeches, uh, and I understood that this was somebody who believed in that basic principle I just talked about, treating people equally.
and was willing to sacrifice uh, his life for that belief. Uh, when I was, I don't know necessarily what they're referred, uh, what programs they're referring to. We don't know uh, uh, how they're sourced. And, and uh, what I've said is that uh, because technology is changing so rapidly, because these capabilities are growing, uh, it is important for us to step back and review uh, what it is that we're doing because just because we can get information doesn't necessarily always mean that we should. The, the is that something that you could talk about on the side, something that wouldn't necessarily be a concession, but something that could be a format for getting a deal done? Yeah, I, here, here's the thing, uh, Stephen. I, I, uh, a lot of people aren't necessarily sure what the chairman of the Federal Reserve does, but thanks to this man to the left of me, more families are able to afford their own home, more small businesses are able to get loans to expand and hire workers, more folks can pay their mortgages and their car loans. It's Second, we need to dispel the myth that the goals of growing the economy and reducing inequality are necessarily in conflict when they should actually work in concert uh, of the hardliners inside of Iran. Now, that doesn't mean that we should trust. But I think part of what's been interesting about this whole exercise is recognizing that in a virtual world, uh, some of these boundaries don't matter anymore. Uh, and just because we can do something doesn't mean uh, we necessarily should. So the answers to many of our challenges today can't necessarily be found in our laws. Uh, we, we don't necessarily grade the severity of concussion. They deserve to be in the company of, but dropped out of school. Yeah. They're not being recruited necessarily where they can dictate terms of employment. Uh, unfortunately, right now, they don't necessarily have the information uh, and as I said, uh, if, if we do nothing, if we don't highlight the problem, then you know, inevitably uh, the kids who probably need the less help uh, get the most and the kids who need the most help uh, are getting the least. Now, uh, I, I know that there's a tension in some countries. Their attitude is we don't necessarily want all this information flowing because it can end up also being used as a tool for uh, political organizing. It can be used for... Uh, as a tool uh, to uh, criticize the government. And so maybe we'd prefer a system that is more close. Uh, as I said at the press conference, uh, my attitude has been and will continue to be that good ideas uh, don't necessarily come from just one party. I'm sure he's got some suggestions for fun there, uh, but not necessarily things that uh, a president can do. So because even though it wasn't necessarily popular in their party. They knew it was the right thing to do. But going forward, our armed forces are necessarily going to need to be leaner. But as Commander-in-Chief, I'm going to make sure that we have a military that is second to none, uh, that continues to be the greatest fighting force in the history of the world. And you shouldn't necessarily have $100,000 worth of debt when you leave, especially if you're going to go into a profession like teaching or... Keep in mind that this is something that uh, we necessarily have to make choices about because we've got 11 million people here uh, who we're not all going to deport. Many of Employers tend to recruit people with technology degrees from four-year colleges, and that means sometimes they end up screening out good candidates who don't necessarily have traditional qualifications. And you know, we don't necessarily expect that every country will formulate how to uh, until the investigation is complete I'm necessarily constrained in terms of talking about the details of the case but you know, it's not as if there's been uh, a multitude of areas where the House Republican caucus has sought cooperation previously. Uh, so I don't necessarily think that there's going to be a big shift.